896 956 912 a 103,4 FM Max Winter. Yeah, good man. Thank you very much. Nice All to good. see you here. Too. Uh, tonight, uh, Winter Masters of Rock, uh, your show has been uh, was, was kind of kind of kind of short. What happened? Um, basically, it was it was absolutely fine until we went on stage. Um, we we've been told it was the best sound we've had so far on tour. You know, it was the best turnout we've had on tour, and unfortunately, our keyboard player got food poisoning. Yeah. Um, and then, so from the first track, we was playing, it was fine. I turned around just to like nod to her about a few things, and she was gone, <laughs> gone. So we decided to keep playing a couple of more tracks, you know, just to see if she would come back. And uh, she didn't. We was told by the tour manager she was completely out for the count. She was yeah. laying down on in the dressing room, being sick, doing everything, sweating. She couldn't, yeah, she couldn't move. Yeah, so there was there was absolutely no hope in continuing. I see. Unfortunately, you know, we really wanted to, but there was no. There's no, no, no chance. Is she all right now? No, <laughs> still not. No, the paramedics have come out. She's still laying there and like curled up. You know, luckily we've got a day off tomorrow, but because she's constantly being sick, um, we don't know how we're actually going to get her on the bus. I see. Man. You know, so we'll have to see how it goes. Good luck to you, good luck to her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a shame, but you know, it happens. Yeah. Things happen. People get sick on tour. You know, we've all been sick on this tour so far. You know, and unfortunately things happen. Well, I would say, uh, you say things happen, I would say shit happens, right? Yeah, it totally shit happens, it does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul, your uh, new album is, is out since uh, end of uh, October. October. Yeah. Uh, do you have any feedback from uh, fans regarding, let's say, distinction between uh, your new CD and uh, older ones? Um, is there some people, obviously you get people, I mean, with a band that's been going for as length long as we have, you know, this is our 10th album, yeah. and you, um, Throughout the years, we, we always try and change our sound, you know, because there's nothing worse than actually having a, an album come out and then the next one sounds the same and then the next one sounds the same and the next one sounds the same. You put it on and you're bored to fucking tears, you know. Um, so we tend to try and keep it, like change it up a bit. And uh, this one come out, and I prefer this one over all of them. You know, I've got people, there'll be mostly people screaming at the video now, going, oh, that's a load of crap. I don't really care, to be honest. You know, we don't, we write music for ourselves. And if people like it, great. If they don't like it, it's tough fucking shit, to be honest. Really? You know, it is. But there's no point. We don't write music for chart positions. You know, we don't write music for, to try and please people. You know, we do it because we like writing music. You know, because that's what we are. In our, you know, metal's in our blood. Yeah. It's as simple as that. No matter what shape or form it comes in, it's in our blood. We live it and we breathe it. Yeah. You know, and we'll write what the fuck we want to write, to be honest. You know, and that's what we do. And, but since this album's come out, the feedback from the press has been phenomenal. It really has. We, Danny and myself, we did a, uh, a press tour of... Um, just a what, European press tour. You know, and every, every place we went to, um, everybody says... It's the best stuff you've done since Midian. It's fucking brilliant, you know? And like they said, like the guitar driven, it's finally the guitar's like loud enough, the riffs are there, you know, yeah, you've stripped back on the, it's more of a modern sound, you know, which it is. And then like, it's been likened to like a more of a modern day, like principal, uh, Midian, like dusky type with the hints of that sort of stuff in it, you know? And a lot of people have said, fucking we really hope it keeps going like this. But then you get the, obviously you get the hardcore fans who go, oh, this is fucking shit. This doesn't sound like, I don't know, what is it, Dusk or doesn't sound like cruelty. No, at the time, yeah, it doesn't sound like that. But if we released another album, if we was to write an album that did sound like that, they'll be going, oh, all right, it sounds like Dusk and it sounds like cruelty, there's nothing new. And the press will be going, oh, that's actually really this and it's that, you know? So hence the reason why we do it for ourselves. We don't write music for anyone else apart from ourselves. Congratulations. You know, thank you. Uh, but it's been really good. We've had really good feedback from it. Yeah. You know, really, really good feedback. You know, so this, this, over the last few albums, we've been really slagged off. You know, I've said, oh, it's, I mean, we've had like, yeah, it's a cradle album, we're going to buy it because it's a cradle album, but it's nothing new. It sounds like the last one, it sounds like this. So this time, it was actually me and Martin that wrote this ourselves, just me and him wrote this album, you know, and Martin had some fucking phenomenal ideas, you know, for like keys and stuff. And so when I was writing the structures, he was sending me the uh, drums back, backwards and forwards, because he was writing from my studios. And then when he sent the keys back, I'd rearrange stuff and send it off. Then it'll get sent off to Dan for vote for lyrics, you know. 
And yeah, when we listened back to it, we, both me and Martin was like, fuck yes, this is more like it. You know, it's straight to the point. They're shorter songs, they're less complicated. I mean, because the last, the last stuff, I really felt like there was, it was too, you had to like listen to it too much. You couldn't just put it on and enjoy it. You know, it was, it was too technical for its own good. Complicated. Yeah, complicated, there was too much going on. You know, so this time it was a real conscious effort to like go, right, let's strip it right back. Let's put a lot of the like the the, the, the punk influence that like we used to do way 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 back in the day, you know, like on principle. Put all the, some of that influence back into it again and bring it up to more of the modern sound. And it fucking, as far as I'm concerned, it works. It really does. All right. Well, in 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 studio, uh, how do you get such such sound uh, sound with uh, three musicians only? Um. Well, actually, three musicians. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was only uh, me and Martin that recorded it. It was only two of us. And and Danny singing. Oh yeah, obviously yeah. But Dan was yeah, of course yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like, but having, um, but Dan was in another studio, you know. So I like some of the some of the songs on this album. Well, that's pretty much a lot of them. Me and Martin were playing like together live, like recording and stuff, you know. And we'd like doing big sections because what we felt is on the previous albums there was a lot of uh, like Pro Tools cut and paste. There was a lot of that going on, and it sounded too like mechanical. You know, and, to, and and now this like this this real like metal sort of like stroke plop, the punky vibe has been put back into it again. You couldn't do that. You had to play it in to get the get the feeling and get the groove right. You know, you couldn't cut and paste it. So so that's what we decided to do. So we did it. Um, and like yeah, I mean Scott Atkins, the producer, he was he was in he was in right from the very start of like when I started writing the album. He was right from the very beginning, so he was like, yeah, what about this? And he'd come and push me with ideas, and what about going to this idea, and what about going to this idea, you know? And so, like, so we worked together with the producer all the way through the whole album, you know, the, the guy that was going to record it. So by the time we got to the studio, he knew exactly what he was getting, and then he already had the sounds dialed in, he already had the head set up, and, and he'd go, oh, I'm going to go for this guitar sound, or what about this and this? We tried different guitar sounds to get the rawest one possible, and it worked. It worked really, really well. So it's like with uh, Led Zeppelin in, let's say, early 70s, oh, yes. li life in studio. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right. Paul, before the show, uh, do you like quiet uh, and concentrate or, or uh, explosion of, of adrenaline, testosterone? No, I get really quiet before a show. Yeah, I get really quiet. I get actually, to be honest, just before a show, I get really tired. Really what? Tired, like sleepy. Really? Yeah, it's weird because there's, there's a lot of people who like, when they say, oh, what do you, oh I'm really yeah. pumped and uh, adrenaline's kicking in. Adrenaline does the opposite for me. It sends me to sleep. And other guys? Do oh, they're running around, <laughs> running around, we're all hyped up and like, ready to go. But I know for myself personally, I just sit there and I'm like this and I'm like, I'll start like dozing off and start like nodding off and stuff. But yeah, by the time I get on stage, it just goes off sleep. But, right. but yeah, it's, it's case of what I've got used to now. I felt like I'm getting tired or adrenaline's kicked in. <laughs> do you personally do you sport? Do I do sport? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, I do a lot of martial arts. Martial arts, you know, really? fighting. Yeah, do a lot of that. But which, which kind? Um, I've been doing um, karate for well, since I was six years old. Any belt? Yeah, I've got my black belt. Really? Yeah. And then I kind of gave a bit of a break, and then I went in to do like uh, Yoshi Khan, this style Yoshi Khan as well. And that's what got my Dan grades in. Um, that was it was good, you know. But since then I took a bit of a break because like I moved and did like somewhere. I live in like, I live in America now. Where? Uh, uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Minneapolis. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, around the area. Yeah. You know. But no, it's good though. It's um. But then I took, since moving and like changing my life and I wanted to go off and do other things and stuff so and then I, I training kind of took a bit of a backbone back burner you know so I got into like like weightlifting you know just so like lifting like weights and stuff which is nice. good let me see your knuckles, your knuckles. <laughs> nice. all right well uh, you're living in uh, around Minis uh, I mean in Minnesota yeah. um, uh, let's say uh, Martin from Czech Republic Danny Englishman how, how do you get together I mean I mean uh, uh, totally right Yeah. Uh, the wonders of the internet. Yeah. 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 Everything's done. Virtual. Yeah. Really. Literally. Yeah. It's so easy. It's we save so much time doing it this way, because every time we've tried to go down a rehearsal room, everybody's just got like, oh, I don't know what to play, and just like looking at the floor and we're wasting time. 
you know, at least doing it from our own studios. And I'll come up with a basic drum beat, you know, and then I'll come up with like riffs and structures. Then I'll send it, then I'll, I'll like, I've, I've got a yeah, you send it account. Then I'll, I'll you send it to Martin, the, 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 the sections. I'll do just the guitars, then I'll send a version of the guitars with the basic drums I've got, and then like in the in an email I'll explain to him the ideas I've got, and we'll Skype and I'll tell him about the ideas I've got for it and stuff. We'll video chat lots, and then he'll go along, he'll like play drums on his like MIDI drum kit, program it all in, send me the drums back with loads of different variations of the drums, then I'll choose the best ones which I think fit better for the riffs, put them in order, then I'll replay the riffs in again to match the drums, and then I would then I'll rearrange and then I'll send it back to him again. Say, look, I've changed the riff on this. Can you do this? And I've got this, this, and this. And he'll, be up and he'll rearrange everything and send it in. It keeps going and works and forwards like that. You know, once Red's, once we've had got all the music finished and the keyboards and everything all done, then they'll go off to Danny and he'll, he'll start writing lyrics. Man, 21st century. So that's the reason you, you get you get a brand new album every other year. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't have to get to Debbie. You don't have to rely on other people to like turn up on time or, or do this. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm straight in the studio, yeah. playing, practicing, you know, coming up with ideas, sending them off to Martin. He can constantly send about and forwards all the time. All right. Well, uh, uh, are you a family man or single? Uh, divorced. All right. <laughs> How is your, uh, let's say, average uh, Sunday? My average Sunday? Yeah. Well, where I, where I live, um, I've got. I usually take my friends' dogs for a walk. Was that? My dogs take dogs for a walk on a Sunday. Yours? Friends. I'm not going to give too much information away. No <laughs> friends. 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 All right. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. No. Easy. Yeah. We go. We usually take the dogs for a walk. You know, we go to the coffee shop and just sit there, have a cup of co cup of coffee and stuff. Enjoy your life. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, Sunday's like quality time. You know, it's just like yeah for friends. Super. <laughs> well, uh, that's enough. Do you have any special message for uh, Rackmax Radio uh, listeners, fans, your fans? Absolutely, you know. Thank you so much for following the band, for, for you know, for supporting the band, for like everything you've like ever done towards the band. You know, if it wasn't for you guys, there's no way we'd ever be able to do this. You know, so like, thank you very much, like you know, for everything you've ever done, and I hope you like the new album. And we really do apologize for not being able to play the full set tonight you know it was completely out of our hands we tried but there's there's on there's nothing we could do about it life is life life is life exactly well thank you so much it's been a pleasure